Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Hello everyone, Uh, welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Doctor Who Season 8, Episode 12, Death in Heaven. I'm your host, Cleo, and with me, I have Erica. Rachel? And Pat and Michelle. What up? Hi! Is this a good mid-season finale? Yeah. Yeah. At first I thought it was crap. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah? What part did you think was crap? I didn't like the way it ended and then it ended. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. It just it just ended. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, wait, 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 no, wait, no. This is bad. This is horrible. No. Yeah. So cyber pollen. <laughs> oh god. Not, it's not the weirdest thing Doctor Who has ever done, but how does where does it rate on the weird evil plots? Cyber sperm. <laughs> cyber sperm. I don't know. It's kind of. They they keep they keep twisting the the Cyberman story and 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 origin all the time because before yeah, I mean, it was like it's like they had to build and they had to have the the metal and they had to build the the bodies and then it was like oh well there's a cyber architect or whatever and then mm-hmm. it's like now it's just like oh this this pollen hits a dead body boom it's the Cyberman well it's, you know he's obviously uh, missing. Master, whatever you call him, is always been working on it. It can yeah. always evolve. I give it an eight out of ten on the uh, on the WTF scale. Nice, nice. It's not like one of the most ridiculous yeah. I've ever seen, but yet again, it's like, dude, you serious? All right, we're just gonna <laughs> find a reason that this can make sense. Yeah, yeah it's just like it's Doctor Who. Yeah. I. So so we pretty much know now that the all those clockwork like robots were just like proto cybermen right <laughs> yeah is that, is that <laughs> what we can gather from that i don't know what the clockwork guys were they were just they were machines yeah but they were all of them were tied to missy and to heaven right yeah uh, i don't know it didn't seem like it but i mean you never know they, i mean they could be but they could be but they haven't really said Okay. That's interesting then. I, I didn't really think too much about it until like right now. I'm like, wait, does that mean that all the cl- clockwork robots were just prehistoric Cybermen? Nah, I don't think so. Ah, Cybermen. I mean, Cybermen were, they were using some, um, say, um, human parts. <laughs> Organic matter. So, of some Cybermen? Part. Yes. Yeah. So were some of those clockwork ones, especially the ones from uh, which episode was it? Um, First episode, Deep Breath. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they were literally t- using. Well, that was the parts. only. True. Yeah, that was like the only one. Oh, the original. Well, the ones back in ten, they well, weren't. That's, that's they were pretty- using people parts to try to power back up their um, ship. Yeah. Yeah, that was the French episode with Madame. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pomp- the Pompadour. Or- Pompadour. So yes. I don't think it's exactly the same. I think they're really just like a plot twist ploy yeah. that Missy might have been using to test and see, oh, mm. is Clara the one? You know, is Clara the one I can trust to do this? Is she the one that, you know, could essentially help me cause the eminent denies of uh, the human race? Mm. <sighs> because he's always had some kind of beef with the human race from, like, of course. day one. He's jealous of them. Yeah. He's yeah. jealous that the doctor likes them more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's how weird and twisted that is. Um, right. But, yeah, that's just how the master, well, mistress, whatever you want to call is. Um, he's already established that he wants his friend back. And yeah. try anything to get him back. Yeah. Yeah. And he gives them an army. Him. He gives them an army. Here's an army of all your dead friends. Oh. 
<laughs> All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. And they're Cybermen. <laughs> I love the fact they're coming out of the graves and they're just going. Uh, <laughs> they're running the Cybermen into things. The cemetery just like. <laughs> they're running into things. It's like zombie Cybermen. It's like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I they're, love they're getting perfect. used to their new surroundings. <laughs> I was just laughing so hard at that. <laughs> the doctor was bringing it up, too. It's like they're babies. Mm -hmm. They had no idea what they're doing. They're still figuring out their motor skills. So they're walking around aimlessly throughout the whole, like, cemeteries. Mm -hmm. it's hilarious. So, Cyber Danny. Oh, Cyber Danny. He's so Danny. sad. I was in tears. I was bawling. Why did it have to be Danny? I know. I well, just, it, no. it kind of, if you, you know, it goes with the story that he had to have been a Cyberman because he died and he was put into the, into the, you know, do, uh, hard drive, whatever they call it. And so, you know, he would have had to end up being a Cyberman. Yeah. Yeah. At least his body. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know they were going to bring him back like, like, oh, it's Danny in a Cyberman's body, but it's still Danny. <laughs> I was like, no. I'm more like, just still, like, why did Daddy have to die? It's like, well, we know somehow know. that his lineage lives on. Maybe Claire is pregnant. Maybe that's why she leaves. That's what Pat was thinking. We were talking about it after the. I episode. have, I yeah. have theories, but that has that. We're gonna talk about that when we get to. <laughs> She's like, we're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> well, I think it's irony at the same point that Danny becomes essentially a Cyberman because he's now in turn a soldier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the doctor's army. Yeah. 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 It's like true. poetic justice to it almost. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so he, even when he, they, I forgot what they do to cut off his emotions. What was, was the thing that they did? His did inhibitor just... didn't work. Yeah, his uh, inhibitor didn't work. Okay. Was that because he didn't press delete for his emotions? Well, he was I in. He did, yeah. No, that was the reason why he still, and it was painful for him. It's yeah, like, but what? even when it was working, he was still able to like fight it, kind of. And so was um, Lethbridge Stewart, the uh, the father, the father of the commander of the unit. Yeah, yeah. Do you think there yeah. were any more people that sort of could still well, be people? I think there might be because, I mean, they don't have a brain, really. So, you know, they're first basically just shells. And, I mean, I mean, their spirit could be there, but you can't really turn off feelings off of the spirit. I don't know. Yeah. It's Doctor Who. Anything's possible. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But it just, it just made me think that probably most of the population would be just regular Cybermen, like, duh, blah, do the uh, Cybermen thing. No feelings. <laughs> but, like, there has to be a percentage that still yeah. maintains humanity. Oh, yeah, very small percentage. Because there's but. always going to be a percentage of people that still want to keep their emotions, you know. It mm -hmm. all depends on mm -hmm. how horrible their death was and who they still loved on Earth. Because yeah. if they really cared about people, they wouldn't care of the pain because they'd still want to remember yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. If you lost your emotions, they're going to wipe out your whole memory. You're not going to know anything. Yeah. Could, almost like a ghost, too. If you well, have some finished business oh, yeah, on yeah. Earth, too. I mean, that you need to tell someone of, of importance. That, too, could keep you from turning completely. I think. Yeah. Holding on to that, like, oh, I still need to, you know, I need to explain something to someone. Or get my point before I leave this Earth. And completely become fully robotic. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. I don't know. Just I think thought. he went on for a couple minutes and I lost track. <laughs> Let's and, work. And Danny had a had a loophole where he could he could actually come back. But no, mm -hmm. he's he's too noble and he's he saved the kid. I know. Mm -hmm. That was so thoughtful. I was like, no. I, 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 it. I was just starting to talk. I was like, nope, he's going to let the kid through. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as it, she's like, I don't understand. Just, you can come through, right? Just, just do it. He's like, no, you do. Clara, shut up and listen. <laughs> no. It was nice though. Very nice. I know. It like, was. It's, <laughs> he had to do it because he wouldn't be Danny if he didn't do it. I know. Yeah. No. 
Exactly. It's just, it's really oh, sad. So I was just like, oh. <laughs> Damn it, P.E. P.E. Without a doubt, right? Yeah, this episode is like the only episode I wasn't mad at the doctor for calling him P.E. Just because it became endearing at this point. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And at the end was kind of sad because she never told him. Yeah. She didn't tell him that he didn't come back. Yeah. I mean, we ended the episode. The doctor and Clara are still lying, literally still lying to each other. Why can't they tell each other the truth? Well, now we know. Now Because they're hugging. (laughs) Because hugging's hiding your face. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now I yeah. know why he doesn't like hugs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. And I'm, we've not really had a, a... I can't remember a doctor who didn't hug people. Oh. Or didn't like hugs. Well, now we know why he's a grumpy cat. Free yep. hugs. <laughs> it's a grumpy cat. He really is grumpy cat. Yeah. You saw yeah. a video of grumpy cat tonight. But that's something for later. It's so cute. The real grumpy cat. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I understand where he's coming from, and he probably just gave way too many hugs goodbye. Mm, yeah, that's because hugs don't ju- aren't just like, yeah, you're my friend, dude. Hugs to him are a lot. It's it is a goodbye. Like I'll yeah. see you later. When? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> like, to be determined. Well, well not if Nick Frost has anything to say about it. <laughs> he's playing Santa. I know, that's so cool. Ah, all right, all right, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, let's talk about Missy. <coughs> she fucks up unit shit, like, just completely. <laughs> she kills a plane full of people, like, while they're not looking. Yeah. She is so, she's beyond, even more crazy than before. Uh, well, yeah, because she has literally been through the entire human race collecting souls. So she's had how many fucking thousands of years to... I don't know, she's even more batshit crazy as a woman than she was as a man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That may or may not have anything to do with her gender, but definitely those thousands of years she spent working towards this goal made her crazier. Yeah, I agree. It, it's funny crazy, though. I couldn't help laugh every time she talked. I'm just like, oh, God, what's going to come out of her mouth now? I know. It's hilarious. Actually, I'm so sad love- that, the, that the fangirl scientist died. Yeah, I am too. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of halfway expecting them to be like, like pull that that whole double switch again. Be like, no, that wasn't a disintegration beam. That was a teleport. I, you see, I'm thinking that too because I, the next question is, is is Missy dead? Does anyone? But there's buy that? but but there's two fangirls. So was that the real one or was that the alien? Uh, who knows? <laughs> the other one was destroyed. I thought in the zygote episode. They didn't destroy the, the clones because they didn't know which one was which. Yeah. Oh, yes, they didn't. Uh, Wait, yeah. she didn't have the... In- Did she have the inhaler this episode? Because, well, the girl knew who it was, so she handed her the inhaler at the end. Oh, so did she have the inhaler in this episode? Yes, no. she did. She did? Yeah, then that's the clone. Probably. Maybe. Well, I mean, you get the other inhalers. one probably got a new inhaler. Yeah, exactly. You, so you, you don't get know. get inhalers. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Say, you never know. It could be the clone. It could be the real one. You don't know. But, oh, that is but if I'm twist. if I'm sitting in the room and there's you know a dang- dangerous uh, psychopathic murderer, you know there with two armed guards, and they're like, "I'm gonna kill you," I would just leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna stay well, there to wait well, and watch all, them kill me. Say, when she says, "Come here, I need to tell you a secret," I'd be like, "Fuck you, I'm out." Yeah, he's <laughs> like, "I know." No. <laughs> I don't I'm want to tell you a secret. Thank I'm going to tell you a much. secret of my own. It's called I don't give a rat's ass. I'm leaving. I mean, That's my secret. How about that? She, I mean, she now. obviously was scared, but she probably didn't believe her entirely because she was chained up or locked up or whatever. Yeah. So that would be probably be the reason she didn't leave because she didn't believe her. Yeah. She's like, these are my handcuffs. Yeah, they're not yours. <laughs> We all know who they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did the doctor have handcuffs on him? I can't remember. The doctor's handcuffs, right? Yeah. But, I don't know. It was just really interesting. All the new little gadgets she had. I mean, her little... I, I, it's not even a screwdriver. It's a it's a sonic phone. Uh, a laser phone, basically. <laughs> laser phone. A laser phone. It looks like a glorified compact. 
I don't know. <laughs> she, I mean, she was using it to make calls and do stuff on. Yeah. So. It's a universal. It's a hybrid phone. Yes. Can, we, yeah. can I have one, please? <laughs> yeah, really. Where, where do we get that? Where do we sign up? <laughs> I they're gonna, you know, you know, they're gonna come out with that um, case. Is AT&T the provider? Oh god, that'd be great. <laughs> They'll have to come out with that case because people are gonna want it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It'll be on Etsy first. Just watch. <laughs> I love uh, back when he threw it. How Clara was smart enough to go pick it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. And without her really noticing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, so. the last four episodes, Clara's really been improving herself. I was gonna say she's been pulling it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's not. She's not so reliant on the doctor. I mean, even though she did sort of need his help with with Danny, but uh, yeah, she's, she's not so reliant on him anymore as she was. Well, you know that whole Danny thing. That was a whole other. Oh yeah, can of worms. That was yes. a little hard. That probably that helped her a little bit along the way too. So what do you think will be the fate of UNIT in the future, since it's kind of, they kind of got fucked? Well, well all of kind of UNIT, that was just like some of the major characters. Yeah. But well, she's I, safe, yeah, so. But every time, every time UNIT like suffers major blows, they, they always like have some sort of reordering or restructuring or like. They're going to go talk to Torchwood. Ha ha ha. Can we bring that show back, please? Please. I still need to watch it. Yes. <laughs> I just, I need more John Barrowman in my life. This is just not enough. Just, there's not enough. All I have is him and Arrow, and that's not enough. <laughs> oh my god, I know. <laughs> um, oh, uh, they need so to do good. is bring Harkness and River. They need me. They need They'd me. be like BFFs. Oh my god, the two of them. That'd be the two of them would so tear funny. up the galaxy. That would be so funny, though. Their uh, chemistry between one another. But actually, yeah, that would be that should be what Torchwood is. It's just Harkness and River touring the galaxy. Well, That's River's dead. Universe. Travel <laughs> together. That'd be actually that'd be great. We should pitch that to BBC. <laughs> yeah, River's I'm supposed down. to come back sometime. Yeah. End of the storyline, so. Yeah, probably as a flashback or something, or, or some I'm, I'm, past and somehow. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not totally convinced that we won't actually see her again. No. I'm so. sure we will, definitely. Yeah. So the Doctor is president of Earth. God, God help us all. How the hell did that happen without him say, you know, agreeing to be a candidate? You know what I mean? Because you got to get elected. Well, it's the Doctor. It's not really. The way they explained it, it wasn't really a, an election, more like, like okay, we need the one person who we know has our best interests at heart, it's not a politician. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like how she was like, this is the one planet in the entire universe that can say, we have him on the payroll. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, yeah. He's like, oh, how, how much? Yeah, yeah, yes, how much he makes. I know, I love it. <laughs> she told him to shut up. <laughs> that was great. We didn't talk about that yet. The doctor never has money. It's been a kind of thing this whole season. She's just like, Shh. he's like, I'm poor. Oh God! Please, he makes all the money he wants or needs. He rolled up to uh uh, what's his name, Craig's house with a bag full of like thousand dollar bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. He's yeah, got all yeah. the money he needs. That was great. I miss Craig. I, I miss know. Craig. He was so cool. And Stormageddon. <laughs> Stormageddon. Dark Lord of all. I made my husband watch that one because he, he was watching the episodes and that was like a you know an offshoot episode and I made him watch it. He was like, I love that episode. <laughs> oh, you never watched it before? <laughs> oh, he watched when he was when he was doing the whole um, mass watching. Mm. Ah, okay. It was, I, I, I think it was a Christmas episode. So he binge watched too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that last year, <laughs> a whole series. Yeah, <laughs> but no, no, we all love Storm again. Yes. I wonder how many people actually name their kids that. Oh God, God, 
God I'm bless sure those little souls. I'm sure quite a few. They, they they sell quite a few little like onesies with Stormageddon and Dark Lord of All on it. Super fans. Yeah. Poor so, God, God bless those little souls. Because <laughs> <laughs> they are going to get so much shit in high school. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> That'd be awesome if I was new. Well, I mean, as an adult, you'd be like, I don't care, that's cool. But uh, when you're a kid and you have a strange name, mm-hmm. you don't want a strange name. You want to be, you know, Bob and right. Mike and James and stuff. You know what? Yeah. With all the other stupid celebrity parents calling their kids Apple and Blue, I'd rather be called Stormageddon. <laughs> Northwest? <laughs> Northwest. Northwest. Oh, my God. Don't even. Well, uh, Jason Lee named his kid Pilot Inspector. Alright. So, yeah. Pilot is the first name, Inspector's the middle name, I'm assuming. Yes. yes. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know if it's going to happen, but Drake Bell said that he was going to name his kid Taco. <laughs> but that's good. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, Missy tells the doctor, I know where Gallifrey is. I have the coordinates. Do you think Hello. she actually knew? Or no, because he went to the coordinates and they weren't there. But she could have lied. Do you think she knew and lied? Or do you think she didn't know and still lied? I oh. think she I had think no she, idea. I think she okay. knew. She just lied. Like, because to get through to the doctor. If she does have a TARDIS... Right, because we... The doctor mentioned a couple times that she must have a TARDIS, but they never found it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. No, they never have. So do you think she has a TARDIS or was... She just... I don't know, she could have a... Hanging around Earth for thousands of years. Um, manipulator thing, worst thing, like a heart missed it. Yeah. I'm sure so she has know. some device to do She has something, because if she went back in time and all these Cybermen and stuff, then she had to have... She has to have something. Yeah. I hope she has a TARDIS. I wonder what her TARDIS looks like. It'd be red. No, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. That'd be pretty. It probably good. wouldn't be locked to one uh, one disguise. Yeah, probably not. No, probably, probably not. have a working one. It's a red booth. No, well, that's what I was yeah. saying. It could be red, but no. No, I bet you the cloaking device probably works. Yeah, and, and she doesn't leave the parking brake on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it makes that sound because you leave the parking brake on. I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, references. Yes. Yeah. That's the best part about Doctor Who, though. All the references. So yeah. great. It's what makes the show so quirky and awesome. Mm. I bet she got 60 keys to the thing, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I, I, just, I just can't wait for the Christmas episode to see what actually happens. I know. I'm really stoked. I was it. really pissed about how do, it ended. Do and we... Then, well, that's the whole point. It's like, keep us waiting now. Okay. Yeah. Do we have anything else to say before we talk about next episode? Do we have anything else to say about this one? The, well, the way it ended, I thought it ended. I wanted to punch the, my computer. Oh, them both lying to each other and then leaving? Yeah, yeah I was like, that's what? No, what? That, that's not, no, that's not an ending. What the hell? Clara, l- listen, I don't know how Clara got that kid back to Iraq or Afghanistan because, I don't, I don't know. Like, what, is she just going to drop him off with, uh... Hi, here's embassy? your dead kid. Back from your dead. Here you go. Excuse yeah, exactly. Here's and how many here. years has passed? I don't, don't know. how many years have passed. And he's not, yeah. he hasn't aged. So, you know, he could have had a younger brother, and now all of a sudden his younger brother is his older brother. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Because yeah. we don't yeah. know, you know? So if she, know. I, I couldn't help but think about, like, if she tells the doctor, then they can go back in time and drop this kid off with his family, you know, the day after or something. Yeah. But yeah. she's like... Why are you lying? Why? I thought we were past this. No. They're so they bad. Have, they want to just keep up that good that good face. Good deeds. Yep. Yeah, but they both know the other one is lying. I know, they do. I don't know. Um, I think the doctor knows she's lying, but he doesn't know exactly what she's lying about. Yeah. And Mark, she knows yeah. he's lying. Yeah. But, you know, same thing. Mm-hmm. They're both aware. Silly, I mean, silly, yeah. silly. But that's why we have the next episode. So <laughs> Santa shows up. Da, da, da. Santa's pissed. Is, is this the real Santa? Yep. <laughs> or, or is this like Santa. space Santa? <laughs> space Santa. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Santa. Is this exactly space Santa? 
know. But he has an extra <laughs> arm or something. What? An alien. Maybe he's a time lord and he has a TARDIS and that's how he gets all around the world. And it's quite possible, but you know. Yeah. I don't know, but he wasn't too happy with the doctor. No. And how he left things with Clara. Yeah. But he wasn't too But happy. he did say he was going to, he, you know, he had to ask him what he wanted for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I love that the way you stormed in and just said that. I was just like, oh. oh. What's going to ask for? I want everything back to normal. Yeah, seriously. Normal? What's I, normal? So listen. <laughs> The next episode is the Christmas episode. It's going to air on Christmas Day, as always. Oh. And I just really, I want a Christmas miracle. I want them to bring Daddy back. Oh, oh, all the feels. Christmas. The Christmas episodes are so known for feels. They're are so always feels. known to make you cry. I don't think I've watched one single Christmas episode that didn't make me tear up. I've watched normal episodes that make me tear up, so the Christmas is definitely, definitely make me tear. Yeah. I think certain... I've, I've only cried maybe one or two episodes of Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah, so I'm very excited for the Christmas episode. Because we know Clara's going to be in it, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I couldn't find a synopsis, obviously. Oh, of course not. They're, not gonna... they're not... probably not going to film it until. No, they're probably filming it now. Yeah, actually, yeah. Probably. Yep. Because they filmed all these before they even aired, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this, all the Christmas episodes, they always try to keep them super secret, so they only, they film them really close to the air date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. They don't want any spoilers at all. Super secret! Super, super secret. It's, it's like, it's like an, an, an institution in Britain is, um, uh, Gathering up with your family, having your Christmas, you know, family stuff in the morning, and then like sometime watch. in the afternoon, I think they said around three p.m. Everybody just sits there and watches TV for the watch entire this. rest of the day. Yep. Why not? Well, I kind of love awesome. that it's Doctor Who it. as opposed to watching the Christmas Story on end for like twenty-four hours. TBS. Yeah. Yeah. Love the Christmas Story, but I don't watch it twenty-four hours a day. Oh my god. <laughs> All that, or the log that comes on on a channel. And oh, just, yeah. it's a good, <laughs> the, the like, Yule log. The log. It's the same. It's the same. You're like, oh yeah, this is supposed to make me think I have a fireplace. In my <laughs> exactly. It's on Netflix. You can actually download the I Netflix. I part saw it on Netflix. It. I was like, this is sad. It is 15 minutes of the fucking Yule log. I'm sorry, dude. I can't deal with that. That's too <laughs> long of Yule logs. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, one year I saw it at Walmart. They sold a DVD of it. Ah, really? Like, who would buy that? I mean, That's hilarious. You well, just, anyway, I would yeah. it as a shitty gift when I had Secret Santa if I knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, where can the people find you watching the Christmas Yule log? <laughs> On Twitter at Erica Rain Seven. Rachel, where can they find you? <laughs> they can find me at Savannah Seventeen. At Michelle. Where can they find you? Uh, they can find us at Pichelle on Twitter or in Time and Space, whichever one works easier. Yay! <laughs> Time and Space. You can find me at Cleomoto. You can find all of us and more at ASO TV Podcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google Plus. <coughs> uh, and yeah, go check out our other shows and come back in December. Or actually, probably. We might not get around filming it till January for the <laughs> uh, Christmas episode of Doctor Who. It's gonna be amazing. Yay! See you in all next our year. It'll be sometime in March. We finally get around to it. Is. Do, do, do. Yeah, we'll film it like right before the next half of the series starts. That's that's the way they used to do it on American TV. They'd they'd wait and push the Christmas episode until the first episode of the new season. So it'd be like August, and you're sitting there watching a Christmas episode. I'd be like, hell no! No way!